Whoa. This is where we'll need to keep an eye out for livestock. the buzzards hey guys welcome back to the channel we are in elgin i've already got about 23 miles on this trip and about 50 miles on the tank so i'm going to go ahead and fill up and uh we're doing something brand new today it's a trip i've been putting off let's go ahead and get on the road we have police up there at the front so we'll go ahead and go around this way but I've taken you guys to Elgin before, so I didn't bother showing the trip here. But after this, it's all new. So I just stopped to get the camera ready for the trip. And we'll stop up here and get some gas, and then I will bring you guys back. All right, mission accomplished. So that fellow there in the uh, Coca-Cola truck he wanted to know if you needed a license to ride a scooter and the answer to that in in Texas yes you do I haven't happened to have a motorcycle license but they also have a uh, a scooter license looks like they changed this a little bit okay interesting oh my gosh this sausage smells good it's a good thing we're going to eat somewhere. So any of you who watch the channel know that I've been to Bastrop on the Grand before, and that's the way I go, and um, I turn on to 95, which is the easiest way to get to Bastrop from Elgin. This VFW road, that's my turn. officially off the beaten path. Whoa. <laughs> Definitely not something I want to dig on my soft tail. So the road we're taking is supposed to be very beautiful. About half of it Half of the trip, there's some um, Indian blankets for you guys who are fond of Texas flowers. Usually you see those with blue bonnets. And the blue bonnets are just amazing. I hope to show you some fields of blue bonnets, but right now we just have some fields, a little bit of blue bonnets mixed in. So if I take a left here, that would take me out to uh, State Highway 95. I am going to the right, though. It is a rough road, and it's paved. Imagine how bad the gravel will be. I'll show you some. Some of this is just so amazing. I think the total trip today... a little over 100 miles I've never seen stairway go up to them there's railroad tracks there on the right I've never seen a stairway go up to them before
Half this road will be unpaved. I expect it to be unpaved. And also there's some possibility of loose livestock. And this entire road is just amazing. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. The temperature's picking up too. When I left today, it was about 62 degrees, but it's supposed to get up to like 75. So I have a few layers on. I'll probably be shedding those later. But there's also, I believe, a derelict bridge that we can uh, take. I believe I want to go to the right here, yes. Okay. And I will keep bringing you guys back very soft because this road is just amazing. curve is supposed to be 35. Hard to imagine people going much faster than that on this road in their cars, maybe old trucks. So I do like the time change because I don't think there's a risk of me getting back home after dark. We'll see about that, but I think we're doing pretty good. Folks, I really don't have much to say except, oh my God, look at that view. My camera seems to be shaking quite a bit here. I hope it doesn't fall off. May need to put some plumber's tape on the threads. Here. Mm -hmm. Am I still on the road? I hope I didn't miss a turn. No, I seem to be still somewhat paved here. I gotta pull over. My uh, selfie stick just broke. Okay, you can see what happened here. Yes. Uh, oh, look at the butterfly. Very cool. A uh, little rod came out of there. Fortunately, I brought another camera though. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, take two. So I took the opportunity to uh, go ahead and shed a layer. It's getting a little warm. I mean, it's not hot or anything like that, but I already have like, what do I have on a t-shirt, a flannel shirt, and then I have like a quilted liner that goes in this coat. And it's okay until you stop. So I took off the selfie stick and that's probably my fault because I, I really cranked down the camera. But I should be able to fix it with uh, some epoxy.
this gorgeous land out here, isn't it? How many times am I going to use the word gorgeous in this video, I wonder? Okay, the pavement officially ends here, it looks like. Or what passed for pavement, anyway. It's not a bad dirt road. There are a lot of county roads that are unpaved here in Texas. Usually avoid them. You don't really need to take them. sliding a lot. Whoa. This is where we'll need to keep an eye out for livestock. Some shake cloth, wonder what they're growing under there. Huh, maybe nothing. Maybe it's just a place for the cows to get away. I can't really go a lot faster than 20 miles an hour. like this might go on for a while sometimes the nature of the gravel changes and it's pretty rough pretty loose and I think the ruckus tires are made for this so I'm not that worried about it this it's always in concern but look at that my god The absolute solitude on this road is amazing. I, I mean, no one's on the road. Of course there are people around. Farmers. got here. Oh, look at this old bridge. I'm not sure what creek this is. It might be the Wilberger Creek. Well, it's nice to have pavement there for a couple of minutes, seconds. Squirrel, not a very fast one. This little gravel road that we're on right now, starting to turn back into pavement a little bit, which is kind of cool. This is actually the main street, or turns into the main street of Bastrop. So, 
hopefully that was the end of the gravel it slows me down a little bit I'm gonna take you guys through Bastrop show you the city a little bit I don't think I've done that before well, I know I haven't been on my ruckus so I'll take you down Main Street show you the sights it's a very pretty town and then I think they have some kind of a motorcycle rally here once a year something uh, I think they got kicked out of Austin <laughs> and uh, Bastrop opened it up a lot of restaurants a lot of bars I've uh, been to a lot of them and uh, then we're going to head over to Fisherman's Park it's a beautiful little park and that's where we'll have a lunch look at this I mean I can't I can't stop saying look at this I am amazed I am so happy that I did this route today we have more than that but here's some blue bonnets for you guys and uh, usually TxDOT, I think, uh, spreads seed around the road. So the bigger highways has just gorgeous fields full of them. Okay, I didn't make any turns or anything like that. And this road has turned into Main Street. See what we got going on here. And there it is. There's a little derelict bridge over there. Doesn't look like it's easy to get to, so we're just gonna keep going. It's the first stoplight. Lord have mercy. That's scary. Farm Street. This is what we want to go down when we do our lunch. We'll have to come back to this. We're going to go down though. We're going to look at the town because it's a gorgeous little town. And people are already eating and drinking. Just take you around. Been to the beer garden. Had breakfast out here. Um, I'll show you another cool couple of places here. Yeah, if this guy goes. Okay. Here's Gracie's wonderful place to eat. And this place right here, there's this cafe. Coffee and kitchen. They actually, that is a, oh, look at this. Look at this. Who's got the ruckus? That is cool. Fellow ruckus man. They brew whiskey here. And uh, it's a cigar bar as well. Alright, we are in Fisherman's Park. A little skateboard ramp there. We're gonna find ourselves a little picnic table. These squirrels are afraid of nothing. Okay, take you down to the boat ramp. We'll go up. Nice little picnic area right there. I might do that.
Oopsie. No vehicles? My bad. But we have a spot right here. Like you made some friends. Oh, yeah, I'm a little scared. <laughs> yeah, you better not move. Jumped on my lunch buddy. <laughs> Friendship Park. <laughs> Little river walk down here. We've taken it before under that bridge. It's a Colorado River there. Okay, for today's lunch we have roast beef and cheese on rosemary rye. Lays, of course, and just some water today. And uh, let's see if I can eat in peace. Hmm. There's a sucker born every minute and two goose to take him. Well, that was a good lunch. And a nice pretty park too love this park and now time to go home and we're not going back the same way because we have one more thing to look at on my way home. There's the Colorado River. Thirty five, perfect for me. So this is kind of a roundabout way to uh, the access road of uh, Highway 290 and uh, 21. Very dangerous, busy roads, but we'll be on the access road and only for a little while. It seems like a reasonable way to go. Okay, we're off on a side road now. I don't know if I should have taken a left there or up here. Oh, it looks like the AR car is coming from there. So, that's good. I-69 is actually a pretty major road. I'm thinking it's similar to uh, State Highway 95, except without as generous a shoulder. So I'll have to keep my eyes out. We'll be, there's some blue bonus for you. But I have a little ways to go before I can turn off. Golly, look at that big old bull. Wow. Well, I have a little ways to go before I turn off and uh, not really much sh to show until then so I will bring you guys back later
show you guys those Indian paintbrush. Not a lot of traffic on this road. I've had to pull over several times to the uh, shoulder there, let people pass. And uh, I usually do it on a straightaway. Mostly the trucks are coming, not going. That's good. Crossing the Colorado River again. That chick is just slow down. Let them buy as fast as possible. All right, we're finally off 969. We are now on Lower Elgin Road. Speed limit is 35, and uh, but it's paid. Oh, well, guys, welcome to the Lower Elgin Road Bridge. Very weedy. Let's see if we can get to it. I know we can, just, we're supposed to be able to get to it from the other side and uh, the access is just as easy. We'll just go that way. Hopefully it's better though. a little easier to get up there. Welcome to the Lower Elgin Road Bridge. Or it's a memorial for a young lady. I don't know what happened. I just saw it when I pulled up. the buzzards. Alright guys, let's go check it out. A lot of vultures around here. I watch for snakes. 
They're probably watching for me to get bit by a snake. So you might think that this is a derelict bridge and that I might be trespassing, but I'm not, and this is not a derelict bridge. This bridge was built in 1888 and uh, was in service until 1997 when they built that bridge over there. This is Wilberger Creek. This bridge was nearly destroyed in 2015 when uh, there was a flood. Actually, there were two floods that year, pretty bad. And uh, they had closed this bridge. Then a group of volunteers got together in 2018 and fixed the bridge and it is now open for pedestrian traffic. That scared off all the buzzers, I guess. You know, I'm top buzzard. It's pretty far down. I certainly would not ride a vehicle on this bridge. Uh, it's pretty rusted. It's probably fine, I don't know. But they haven't maintained the entrance, so. I guess not a lot of people go here anymore. Who knows how long this bridge will be here. But it's here and open to you anytime. Okay, let's get back on the road. More Indian blankets there, man. It, it, this is the year of Indian blankets. This is awesome. Oh my God, look at that. Finally, the EFW road, but that's how we went to Bastrop. This road is a little bit longer and busier than I thought it would be. So they changed this road up a little bit, but I think probably for the better.
All right, guys, this is where I started out, and this is where I'll say goodbye. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, that was one fun trip. Wow. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.